this is the first screen when you switch on the phone this is what you're greeted with a lot of people just go for click over here you have to remember this is originally in the Chinese version so you need to click over here to get your options so some people ask me what language is it supported so at the moment these are all the languages which are supported in the phone so you can actually see it it supports English it supports Dutch Sp Spanish French and other languages Portuguese Arabic Hindi and all other languages so you can choose what region you are in and you can actually choose so I'm going to just choose the English so just get started so that's how it comes up agree signing my life off once I enter my Wi-Fi password it asks me for fingerprint face or password so I do the fingerprint so that's the pattern setup now it's asking me to register the fingerprint so start this one does not has a side mounted fingerprint sensor this one has got the on screen's fingerprint sensor so it's asking me for face as well yeah why not okay so that's done now okay I can skip it skip sign in okay import data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to import my data from my yummy 14 ultra to vivo so let's see how that one works now i have actually copied my data over from my xiaomi phone to my vivo phone so this is the next step so yeah we'll go for the full screen gesture that's the initial boot up and that's how it initially looks like and if you open it up so all of the data has been transferred over so that is how it initially looks like and when you close the phone that's how it looks a few moments later now that the initial setup is done on the phone, that's after the setup. And initially, there were quite a lot of Chinese bloatware, which obviously you could expect with any Chinese phone. And I've got rid of all the Chinese, well, most of the Chinese bloatware. As you can see, it's quite fast. And the first impression looks very, very promising for the unlocking in the front display and also it's got unlocking in the in the inner display as well so you've got two unlockings just like the one which we had on the previous iteration and this is how slim they are when they're opened which yes they are very slim when you compare with the other phones and that is how the back looks like it's got a nice finish i really really like it and the bezels the bezels are quite symmetric it's got a wee curve over here not too much it's just a gentle curve and also because of being a gentle curve, holding this phone is quite good. As you can see, the hinges just are quite thin. So when you try to open it up, you can actually see it opens completely flat. There's not any kind of like a bend over here. So you can actually see it's completely flat when you open it up, which is always a welcome addition. And when you open it up, it does look very, very slim. Yes, agreed, it's not as slim as the Honor Magic V2, but definitely looks very, very good. And even though it's heavy, the phone does not feel that heavy when you're holding in the hand. Because of the curved display, it doesn't put too much of emphasis on your palm. It doesn't poke into your palm. Overall, yeah, this has been the unboxing. And the one thing which I'm really looking forward to using this phone is, this is the first foldable phone to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. And along with the 16 gig RAM, 512 gig storage, and the cameras look very very promising it's got a 50 megapixel of wide 50 megapixel of ultra wide and a 64 megapixel of telephoto the three times optical zoom and a 10 times hybrid zoom and that is something which i'm really looking forward to use and yeah this has been my initial um, impression so far it has been excellent and i'm really really looking forward to use this phone on a daily basis to see how it is and I'm, and what I will do is I will be sharing quite a few videos regarding how it has been in the next 24 48 hours and the camera and also I'll do some comparisons so let me know in the comments below if you want to see any comparison video whether you want to see the comparison with this one along with any candy bar style phone or with any foldable phone let me know and I can I can see if I can do a comparison for that one as well well, thank you very much for watching and keep watching my video so that you can see how this phone performs in a regular basis. Thank you. If you like my video, please do like, comment and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And until next time, take care and stay safe.